Honey K-Pop here, recording my voice for the first time because we need to talk about why Burn It Up was so disappointing. Now, just as a disclaimer before we get started because I know people are going to come after me for this, I have nothing against 101 or the song Burn It Up itself. I actually really like 101 as a group, and I personally really like the song. These are just my personal, completely subjective opinions as someone who is currently studying film on the music video and the way it was shot, edited, and produced overall. So without further ado, let's get started. So we open with this shot of a horse running in slow motion on a beach, which then turns into Daniel through some really shitty CGI. Now I understand the effects aren't going to be great because it's just a music video and not a Marvel movie with a $200 million budget, but was this 14 second shot seriously necessary? The horse makes no reappearance and since this video has absolutely zero plot, I feel like this scene was just really extra and had no business being here. <laughs> Now, I actually think these shots in the song's intro are done really well. The cuts match the song's tempo, and the intermixing of the running shots with the close-ups build up intensity to prepare the viewer for what should be a pretty badass music video. The problem here really arises in that these close-ups that keep drifting in and out of focus don't end after the intro. They keep showing up and end up making up a good majority of the video. In fact, they take up about 3 minutes and 37 seconds of the full video, which is actually longer than the song itself. Another issue I had was with the choreography scenes because I really just can't let this video live. Now, this is actually a really cool dance, which you can see in the videos of them performing it live. I think the framing here just fell really flat. A lot of the frame is wasted because they were almost filming above their heads at times, and at others they were filming at a canted angle. Not only that, but the intense lighting, cliché or warehouse set, and the rain that comes in later just draw attention away from the choreography and make it look tacky and overdone. I think it would have been better if they had replaced the warehouse shots with the shots of them dancing on the beach, because I found those to be much more appealing. Now, I have to address these weird shots where they used an effect to write their names in fire. This looks like something you'd find in a teaser, and seeing it in the actual music video is just awkward and confusing. Who actually sat there and thought, you know, the people watching this have definitely not seen the extremely popular reality show where this group was formed. We should write their names on screen so everyone knows who they are. I can we know how to live our life. So you get to the end of the song and you're like, okay, yeah, it's over. But then there are more random horse scenes and close-ups, and the fire writing effect thing makes a comeback. Great. And then just when you think, oh, it's finally over now, they start the song over and there's more close-ups. I'm going to go ahead and use the full minute or so I have left here to talk about some more general things that were wrong with this video. For one thing, the black and white filter. I understand they were trying to make it more intense with this filter, but I feel like they could have gotten the same effect by cutting between black and white in color. And once again, the camera work was generally just not great. It was shaky a lot of the time, and there were several points where there was no one in frame and they were just shooting the sky. There was also the editing, and this is just a nitpicky personal preference, but I found there were too many cuts to be able to properly discern what was going on. And there were those random effects like the fire writing and the part where the horse turns into Daniel. Not to mention the excessive amount of slow motion. Overall, I felt that there clearly wasn't as much effort put into this music video as there was with Energetic, and I'm glad it didn't become the title track. I'd like to reiterate that I didn't mean to offend anyone or start any drama by making this video. If you enjoyed the music video, that's great, and I'm not going to tell you you're wrong. This is just what I thought made it disappointing to me personally. I still have time, so I'm just gonna say, if you want to see more of me, you can subscribe to my channel or also follow my Twitter, which is at HoneyKpops. One word, no caps, with an S at the end. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know. Full minute and 10 seconds, and I didn't even take all that time to explain. Wow.